Just being in Florence and what it's like coming to these events. Oh, it's great. I think this is this is the last one. It's been a great uh, Proud and Growl season and tour for us. And I think this is the biggest one, I believe. Uh, this is a huge crowd every year. Charlie Grace does an unbelievable job of working and putting this thing together. And, and uh, so excited to be down here and, and uh, kind of close it out and then get on to the next thing, which will be getting ready for summer camps here and finishing up recruiting. Yeah, but with your contract, there was a lot of buzz about that Alabama clause. Um, your, your, your thoughts about that and whose idea was, was that? Uh, well, that was, came from the school and, uh, and, and their proposal, and, and I didn't have a problem with it. You know, I mean, this, this contract was all about um, a mutual commitment to each other, uh, you know, Clemson and, and myself, and, and so I didn't have any issues with it at all. Uh, so, you know, I'm just – just honored to be able to be the coach here, and, and it's been a great decade. And uh, hopefully, we can have another decade, uh, and, and maybe another decade after that. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. But it's just it's a blessing, and um, you know, I'm just thankful that uh, all came together the way it did. It was really kind of a pretty seamless, quick process. Um, but um, you know, we're. Um, Excited to, to move forward. Are you, are you when you think about it though, the largest contract college football history. You know, down yeah, from Alabama. yeah. I, you know, the ten years kind of, kind of, kind of stretches that out. You know, yeah. uh, I mean, but it, it's it's it is it's kind of crazy uh, to think about it. Uh, you know, come a long way, that's for sure. And uh, but just blessed to have been around a lot of great people along the way, and and uh, just try to uh, be a good steward of. of all the blessings God's given me, and uh, you know, hopefully, like I said, we can we can be here for a long time. And I think again, that was what I think everybody wanted the message to be uh, through this contract, not the numbers and or anything like that. It just there's a, the market is what it is. There's a market. There's there's all that stuff that that they look at when they're trying to put all that stuff together. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, I think the term was more the message. And, uh, and, the, and the type of commitment that I wanted to make and, and then the school wanted to make. So um, to me, that's more of the focus than anything else. You mentioned uh, summertime recruiting, uh, Hunter Renfro coming out from our area, Xavier Thomas, uh, DeMonte Capehart, who, you know, a future Tiger. Uh, just what do you see in this area when you guys come down here and, and do the recruiting? Well, I can't talk about of course. prospects, yes. but I, I can certainly talk about Xavier and, and uh, Hunter from down in this way. Uh, but we've had, we've had a lot of uh, great players from the PD in general, certainly here in Florence and Myrtle Beach and, and uh, so forth. So uh, this is, a, a, this is a, a big area for us. I mean, Malachi Goodman's one of the best I've had uh, and, and uh, still close to him to this day. Uh, he, he's come, gone, played his pro career, and now he's in his, his, his working career. So it's just neat to, to come down here and, and kind of have memories of all the guys who, who've come through here and the ones that are still on the team. But, um, it's definitely a, a great area. Not getting into specific players, but seeing this recruiting class to come together and having a full class that you guys can kind of work with now, just what's it like seeing this 2020 class come together for you guys? Uh, the 2020 class is going to be great. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be an awesome class. We, we you know I don't know what we'll end up signing. Uh, probably I don't know 19, 20 guys. It's not going to be as big as last year's class. That was a that's. A big class, and you know, we had a huge amount of seniors uh, and a few juniors that that uh, you know allowed us to sign such a big group. And 17 of them came in January, and we got another 12 guys coming this summer, along with some some recruited walk-on guys. So uh, this class that just got here is huge for our future, and then certainly this 20 class because it's going to be back-to-back, -back really you know solid, substantial size groups that uh, will, will, will be the foundation for, you know, these next five or six years for sure. With Feaster deciding to transfer, <coughs> what, what was that process like with him and how do you feel about the running back group now? Uh, it just really wasn't much of a process uh, other, for me other than, you know, him just letting me know that's what he wanted to do. And uh, so uh, that kind of is what it is and I don't really know uh, anything more than that. I mean, I. I Certainly was disappointed. I, I, I mean, I just think he's a great player, and, and uh, definitely uh, wanted him to, to stay. But you know, it's a decision that he felt like was best for him. And, and uh, man, he's been a model student and player, and going to be a graduate. So 
Um, you know, I think I think that's the, the number one thing that I always focus on is, is you know, guys getting their degree. Uh, as far as our running back situation, well, it's, it's not as good as it was before he left, uh, that's for sure, because he's a great player. I mean, you're talking about, I think I think he's second all time in yards per carry for people who've had at least a thousand yards rushing. So he's just so happens ETN I think is number one. Uh, but you know uh, that's just kind of a decision that he felt like he needed to make and was excited about. And so support him in that. Um, so it's a big loss for us. I mean he's a great player, great player, and a, and a great person. He was a good leader for us too. Uh, so it's just you just have to kind of look at it like um, you know. A, one of our just like one of our senior guys that moved on from last year, and uh, so obviously Travis is back, and he's he's a special talent. This gives more opportunity to Lin Jay. Um, you know, I think he'll be ready to step up and take full advantage of, of more opportunity. And uh, we signed two, so that was big. So we'll get uh, Chez and, and uh, Michael Dukes uh, on campus here in, in a few weeks, and that's that's going to be. Critical. Uh, really, I think Darian Rencher is a is a young man that can really help us and has proven to be a very uh, dependable player with the opportunities that he's gotten. So we'll be we'll be fine. We got a good group. Yo, um, when you talk about the transfer portal, <coughs> the kids are you know when you're recruiting a kid and you don't want him to commit until especially if he's going on another trip or whatever. How do you handle the transfer portal? Is it kind of the same theory with the guy if you either all in or or not? Is that kind of how you do it? I've really never dealt with it uh, to be honest with you. So. Um, I mean, I, I think I think when you enter the transfer portal, I mean, it just says you're leaving. Uh, that's what it says to me. Uh, so uh, there's really nothing else to me. It's just there's nothing, nothing, anything different. Uh, so that's how I look at it. Yeah, but did Steve Smith call you and apologize for his unfortunate comment about Clemson football? Uh, he has not, but Brad certainly did, and um, I appreciated that. What was your response when that? came out and you read those comments? Just disappointed uh, because I know I know how the, we run our program, very proud of how we run our program. Uh, we've always been a, a program committed to doing things the right way, always will be. Take one more and then we'll head up. Coach, you know, um, you just talked about earlier, the uh, both coaches mentioned the power of the paw. And I mean, you walk outside in, in that room, and I mean, the crowd, the crowds all the way to the door. I mean, just the the excitement around this program, especially coming off the national yeah. championship, your contract. I mean, just w what's that kind of like to kind of be at the head of something that's that's so national, but so important. It's awesome. Here? It's awesome. I mean, I, I wake up every day and thank the good Lord, literally, uh, truly, thank the good Lord every day uh, for the privilege of being able to to wear the paw and you know be uh, a leader uh, of the program and and.